Hello everybody and this is our last lesson of maths this term and today we're going to be counting in fractions, naming and writing fractions. Our date is the 1st of April 2021, so that's 1 slash 4 slash 2021 and our LO is to count in fractions. So take a moment just to pause the video, underline your date and learning objectives after you've written it neatly in your book and then we'll move on with today's daily starter. In three, two, one. Okay, four different types of questions here. So give these four a try, and then once you're ready to check your answers, unpause the video. Three, two, one. We'll check the answers now. There we go. Write 374 in numerals. There they are. Three, seven, four. Perfect. 374. Solve this column subtraction. 876 subtract 632. So 6 take away 2 is 4. 7 take away 3 is 4. And 8 take away 6 is 2. So 244 is our answer there. 69 divided by 3 is 23 because we're literally just doing 6 divided by 3 and then 9 divided by 3 which gives us our numbers there and then it says problem solving how many parts of this shape need colouring in to show one third and we've got them coloured in there the answer was 2 brilliant Let's have a look at what we're doing today. And we're doing some fractions, but we're counting again. So it says here, what would the next image in the sequence look like? Now, a sequence is like a stage of events. What happens next? OK, that's what it's asking us to find out. What do you notice about the fraction of yellow cubes? And can you count the fractions represented? Of course we can. We can always do it. Right, so what would the next image in the sequence look like? Well, if I notice here, I look at these, it looks like each time one more uh, red is being added and one more yellow is being, take, is, is being subtracted or taken away. So we had four yellows at the beginning, but then we only had three yellows here and one red then two yellows and two reds. So it's like a yellow is being replaced by a red each time. Look here though, we've got three reds and one yellow. So if we've replaced that yellow, what would we have? We'd have four reds, wouldn't we? And that would be the next image in the sequence. Four red cubes. The transformation is complete. What do you notice about the fraction of yellow cubes then? Well. We are actually, we're, we're getting less of them. So the fraction is getting smaller. We've gone from four over four to three over four to two over four to one over four. And then if we have the next image, then we've got zero over four. So it's not even a proper fraction, is it? Okay, let's have a look at how we would write this. There we are. The next image would have four red cubes and no yellow cubes. Well, that's what we said, wasn't it? The fraction of yellow cubes has changed from four over four to three over four to two over four to one over four. Do you know how to say that in, in, fra in fractions though? We would say four quarters to three quarters to two quarters to one quarter. Brilliant, well done. Let's have a look at the work that we're gonna do today. If you want to try the green chili questions, pause the video now. If you want to try the yellow questions, pause video now. Or if you want to try the red chili questions, pause the video now. Okay, ready to check the answers? Yes, excellent. Let's have a look in three, two, one. There we are. Here are the red, 
No, there, no, it isn't. It's the green and the yellow chili answers right here. Okay. Go back at, to a point in the video if you need to remember what the questions were as well. And then we have the red answers, which are here. Very well done for having a go at those. Remember, you can rewind the video if you want to just check over something or make a correction. That's absolutely fine. But let's move on and try and do some reasoning next. Alex and Whitney are counting in quarters. Alex says one quarter, two quarters, three quarters. Try that again. One quarter, two quarters, three quarters, four quarters. Whitney says one quarter, one half, three quarters, one whole. Who is correct? Explain your answer. Well, I would say that they're both correct, wouldn't you? Because they're counting up, aren't they? You start with one quarter, then you go to two, then you go to three, then you go to four. But two quarters is essentially the same. It's, a, it's exactly the same as one half, and four quarters is the same as one whole. So how would I write this? They're both correct. Two quarters is equivalent to one half, and four quarters is equivalent to one whole. That's pretty much word for word what I just said. So I'm happy with that. Um, let's see what you have to do for the reasoning then. If you want to try these two green chili reasoning questions, pause the video now. But if you want to try the yellow chili reasoning questions, you can pause the video now. Your third option is to try the red chili reasoning questions, so you'll need to pause the video now for those. Okay, let's have a look at the answers. Right, hopefully you did well with those. Obviously, rewind the video if you need to, you just need to check on something, that's absolutely okay. And then once you're ready, we'll move on to some problem solving. Let's try one together. It says here, look at this pattern. What would come next? Write the next fraction and draw the representation. Hmm, okay. So it looks like we've got one out of three here, two out of three here, or one third, two thirds, three thirds, four thirds, which is more than one. Look at that, because the numerator, the top number, is bigger than the denominator. So four thirds. So what do you think is coming next? Yeah, five thirds, it must be. So then we would have to draw that. They would have five here. Five would be colored in green. And then, what do you think that the eighth fraction would be in the pattern? So imagine going eight down. Remember, this is the first one. We've got one over three. Second one, we got two over three. Third one, we got three over three. Fourth one, we got four, five. Got... So it, the eighth one would have to be eight over three. So how would I write this? I put five thirds would be the next in the pattern. And it's important to stress that the whole one here is important for me to stress that the whole one is made up of three. So if you have three over three, that is a whole. But if you have four over three, like we can see here, it's a whole one and a third of the next one as well. Very good. And the eighth fraction obviously would be eight over three. You could even change that to two wholes and two thirds as well. Okay, let's give you some questions and see how we get on with this. If you want to try the green chili questions, pause the video now. If you want to try the yellow chili questions, pause the video now for problem solving. 
Or, if you want to try the red chilli questions, pause the video now. Because we'll take a look at the answers in three, two, one. There we go. Very well done to you for giving those a go. To see if you need to remember what your actual question was along with these answers, if they look a bit different from yours, then feel free to rewind the video a little bit. And take your time, just so that you get a general idea of how we count in fractions. Right, our summary then, what have we learned to do? We have learned how to count in fractions. And I'm gonna leave you with two final things to do for this lesson. Okay, so the third one, the third one, the first one says shade the correct number of parts for each fraction. And we've got the fractions above just here. So we would have to shade the correct amount of parts that are our numerators, okay? Then it says complete each number line. What's the same? What's different? I'll leave you to have a think about those but it's been brilliant doing maths with you over this term, guys. We've done fractions, we've done money, and we've done measurements. A lot has been achieved and you've worked really hard. So well done. And we'll have other lessons to go left in the day, but well done with all of your maths this term.